Hello once again. Now uh, to discuss the confusion that goes around with reference to ground. How you measure with the voltmeter, any circuit, not just automotive. Take this simple, simple circuit, a 12 volt from your car battery, let's say. And let's say this is a bulb, and this is another bulb. These are called in series, two bulbs in series, so you can understand a little better. Let's say this is a parking bulb, and this is another parking bulb. One bulb has seven ohms, the other one has five ohms. If you measure across each one, notice the difference. I'm not going uh, with respect to ground. I'm making my meter, I'm putting my meter. I will measure where? From ground on this one to the other side, which is 5 volts. If I go across the other one, right? I'm not going, you don't see? There's no ground whatsoever from this meter. This is negative of the meter. The negative of this one goes to the ground, great. The positive goes to the other side. This one is a problem. This negative doesn't go to ground where usually we, we measure it. It goes to in between 5 and 7 ohms. One bulb and the other bulb. The positive goes to the 12 volts. How much do we measure? 7 volts. So all together, 7 volts plus 5 volts will equal what? The car battery, 12 volts. Now, we're going with reference to ground. So look how it changed. Look how it changed. This one over here, we said it's 5 volt. Great. This one over here, 7 volt. 7 volts. Great. We took the meter, and we put it from here, same point, but we flipped the meter. Instead of going here to the positive, guess what we took it? We took it to the negative, going to ground. So what are we measuring? This ground is actually this ground. So what are we actually measuring? We're measuring this one. It's like putting this meter the same way as putting this meter. But we, but we flipped it to this ground, which is actually the same ground. So in reality, you're measuring the same. Even though in the, in the diagram it looks different, you're doing the same task. You're measuring actually this meter from here to here as you did from here to here because this one the main one is this one the negative is going to ground that's why you're not measuring this one you're going the other side of the battery let's take another example let's take another example now whenever you measure anything with a voltmeter always put ground first that's the rule always take the negative meter whether you're using the negative terminal of the battery chassis ground alternator ground engine block ground wherever you ch you choose to decide negative always goes first it's a rule but when we take the battery out we always take which one out first the negative we take out first so these are three bulbs in series let's say again if i go across each one what do i mean by going across that means i take two probes these are probes and i go across the actual bulb or resistor across it therefore i will measure what i will measure what's across that resistor this is three volts from where this is the red one remember plus is red negative is black for four ohms res resistor or the bulb that i just said is three volts this one over here has five ohms the more resistance the more the voltage as long as the current is the same. But we're not going to get into Ohm's law. So now this resistance is more than this. We're going to measure more. So now the black one is here. The positive one is here. The red one. I would expect this to be more, right? More ohms. It sure is. This is 3 volts. This is 3.7 vo uh, 5 volts. Almost 4 volts. That makes sense. What would you expect this one to be? More than this one? More than this one? The answer is this should be more than this one and this one. So therefore, if we take the negative, we take the positive, now we measure how much? 5.25 volts, which is more than this one and more than this one. Why? Because the resistance is more. It's the same current. As you can see, as the previous example, we're going across each one. Let's take the negative of the meter and put it to ground. And that's what you're always doing when you measure automotive circuits, except 
for the one that I showed you with the sensors that go to the PCM, those you measure across them, not with reference to ground. Not with reference to ground. That's the important part. So here we have this going, this one is flipped, going to ground. And the positive, instead of on this side, guess where it's going? The positive of the meter is going to this side. So now this is the reference. So here it is now over here. How much are we going to measure? Big difference. Across that we measured, 5.25. With reference to ground, remember, we flipped the meter. Positive here, negative here. Guess how much we're measuring now? 6.75 volts as opposed to 5.25 volts. You see how it makes a difference and how important it is to make sure that you are measuring properly? If you don't measure properly with reference to ground, you will be measuring across that uh, component, you will get a totally different voltage that will obviously give you wrong diagnostics, wrong parts to be changed. How critical it is to measure and to understand how to measure. <clears throat> this is, I keep on going over and over and over on this. The ground always stays there. Same thing over here. This was the same thing, but they're trying to tell you five ohms here, seven ohms here. <clears throat> What's the problem over here? There's a resistance to ground. Resistance to grounds, what does it introduce? Guess what? A voltage drop. This is the, no <clears throat> we should only have 7 ohms and 5 ohms. And guess what? We were introduced by 4 ohms over here from resistance at the ground, corrosion, whatever there it is. So now we have a voltage drop. Now we have problems. We have 3 volts from here to here. We should have 0 volts from here. This gave us three volts that s screwed up the hole so if this was a fuel pump and i'm measuring after the fuel pump to ground i should measure zero volts but i'm not i'm measuring four volts that's a problem right there so anyway i hope this was helpful and informative please go to my channel joe electron schematics for auto remember always in electronics not even automotive the meter goes to ground it is with respect to ground <clears throat> okay thank you for watching